Yo, 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 hello guys and welcome back to Madden 20, the breaking news alert video. Finally, we have a news video coming, a big one. This is all news in this video. And the first person we're going to be talking to is Watkins. He answered the media, you know, for the questions about what his thoughts are on the team. And he had to say this. Now, this is the wide receiver for the Redskins. He said, my thoughts on mine are very uh, mixed at the moment. I'm very upset with how we're doing, yet I still know that uh, this team is in the rebuilding part of the franchise. I hope that we can change that in the upcoming offseason with free agency and the draft. But another thing I'm upset with is, you know, my playing time. Um, I, don't, I feel like the league hasn't seen much of me yet, but um, hopefully we can get all that, you know, fixed. Hopefully I can get on that field a lot more. And uh, But right now, he's pretty mixed with the team. Now, we haven't really covered the Redskins that much um, in the video, so I'll try and make sure to do that in the future. But there he is right there, your stats, buddy. You're actually not doing that bad. 40 wrecks, 497 yards in your rookie season now. Uh, three touchdowns. You could, do, you could be doing a lot worse. So just keep that, keep that positive mindset in your brain and, and try and stick with this team. You never know where they'll end up going, and you want to be along for the ride if they do end up going far. That's my advice as a commentator to you, young kid. Good luck with your career. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. So next up, we have the rookie, another rookie, Sean Parker, for the uh, quarterback for the New York Jets. Uh, his response to the reporters, um, I think we are doing good despite the loss to the Steelers last week, and I think we will get to the divisional round, maybe the conference championship, but hopefully the Super Bowl. Um, Sean Parker, th that's him on his team. Big dreams for this uh, for this rookie. I know it says that he has 20, 28 stats, but nah, this is his rookie season. He didn't start last year. This is his rookie season, and uh, he's got high hopes for the New York Jets, and he's confident. We'll keep an eye on him going forward. So next up, we have two-year vet Christopher Jackson, wide receiver for the Colts, responding to the reporter asking him about how he feels about his team. He said, you know... Uh, I think we're doing all right. We still got a chance to, uh, at the playoffs, and we got to win, you know, all our games. Of course, anything is possible, and uh, I really believe we can do it. We got the talented team, and I think we can pull through and get these W's. Um, Christopher Jackson, right there. You're looking at this guy. He's he's getting way better. Look at the stats, though. Year number one, 525 yards, 54 uh, wrecks. This year, season isn't even over yet. And he's already surpassed his rookie season. He's doing nothing but growing. So expect a lot more out of this wide receiver. So next up, we have wide receiver Danny D. He's a rookie for the Tennessee Titans. And he had to say, um, I might just be a rookie, but I'm getting pumped for this team. I might not get the ball a lot now, but I believe once I progress more, the team will rise with me. And the Tennessee Titans are a team to keep your eyes out on as they are getting better. So we'll see if they're a playoff team. Um, Danny D's got good, you know, good spirits for his team. 55 receptions, 566 yards, five touchdowns. This is his rookie season. Those are good numbers. Seriously, for a rookie, that, that's good. And we're not even done with the season yet. So we'll be keeping an eye out on Danny D. All right, so here we are. TJ Jackson, the rookie uh, wide receiver for the Seahawks, went on social media, and he had something to say. He said, never thought I would see the day that the Chicago Bears are 6-6. Six and six. But 8-4 and four for my Seahawks, not bad. We going for that bowl. Hashtag, we taking it off TJ Jackson. Now, I mean, he's backing it up for a rookie. Already over 500 yards, still plenty of uh, time. Um... And basically, he just said what everyone else is thinking about the Bears. So, we'll see uh, what happens here. And we'll keep an eye on him. So, next up, we have Tyreek Whitehead, the two-year vet. Well, he's in his uh, year number two. And uh, this guy, I feel kind of bad for this guy because, I mean, look at these freaking stats. He's, he's had a phenomenal career so far in the NFL. But uh, he did answer uh, the reporter about his team. He said... He, uh, the inconsistency uh, is starting to get old. I love this team, but being just okay isn't okay with me. 
We got to get our heads in the game and produce out on that on that field. What's the point of putting up these these numbers and not getting any W's to show for it? I know I wear number eight, but I'm not Kobe, and this isn't basketball. I can't do it all by myself. And dude, oh my goodness, I couldn't have said that better myself. Honestly, like I, this isn't even like on the series. I I talk to people, you know, in real life, and like we have like little conversations going back and forth about football and basketball and in basketball you can have one player that kind of carries that team to the playoffs that is no that does not work in the NFL and I love this guy because he's not about the numbers uh, he said yeah numbers that are, are putting up these numbers you know is good and all but what's the point if I'm not getting any W's for it like he's a team player obviously and he wants to get to to that Super Bowl and to the playoffs um, we'll see where this goes, but I'm, I'm kind of on his side, honestly. We'll see where it, where it goes, though. So next up, we're talking about the champion running back, Zach Keister. Um, after his, you know, during his press conference after the Bears win, it was a big win. This is what he had to say. It was a big win, but this is a team with Super Bowl aspirations. Uh, it has been a championship hangover. I think all the guys would agree but we had a tough schedule, some tough teams, and we are going to just take it one game at a time. Um, and wow, what a, you know, what a good answer to bounce back. You know, as a champion, your you, your following season was off to a, an amazing start, and then you fall apart almost. At least that's what the world from who's looking on the outside is thinking. And he's kind of like, you know, yeah, we we're still. We got to get back to how we were last season, but um, we're just going to take it one game at a time. And even a championship team still does that same thing. Just take it one game at a time. It's that simple. We'll see if they can improve. So last but not least, we're talking about Blake West from the Dallas Cowboys. Middle linebacker. And this is what he had to say about his team. My thoughts are... I love this team and I love my teammates. I love the city and the fans that make it worth while we are struggling right now, but we're going to be doing everything to make sure this team is successful going forward. If you think the wall is done in Dallas, we just getting started. And this is a warning to other teams. We coming. The boys are back in town. Hashtag Dallas love Dallas Cowboys forever. And I think out of all these interviews, this one sticks out the most to me because he is loyal. He's riding, he's ride or die for his Cowboys, for his teammates. This is like Ray Lewis, the, our next generation of Ray Lewis. This man, I would, if I was a player, obviously I, I'm not a player no more. I'm a commentator. I used to play back in the day. Now I'm watching you young kids play, but, um, I would have loved to have been, you know, beside this guy on the field, knowing that he's got my back. A, a guy like Blake West is a guy you want on your team, period. Even that he took an injury, he's been out for this whole season. You can see his stats there at the back. Um, obviously, he's only got 28 tackles this, this year. But he's, I want you guys to pay attention to this. He's just coming fresh off of an injury. And he's already got two and a half sacks as to where last year he played, you know, Pretty much the whole time he had three. Blake West is one of the best middle linebackers in the league. He is the best leader on a defense of a team I've ever seen. And um, he's he's gonna have a long career. Mark my words. So that'll wrap it up, guys. Um, if you ever want to be in a, a video like this where I stop every now and again and do a news video, it's all it's all fueled from you guys. These videos wouldn't happen if you guys weren't awesome and leaving comments down below so this video right here is dedicated to every single one of you who left a comment I know there was a couple who left the comments that didn't make it in the video um, but I do appreciate you guys as well so if you ever want to be in a future one if I ever say um, you know I leave down a comment and uh, like you're getting interviewed and then you do that you could end up in one of these videos always be interactive in the comments guys um, for all those who watch my videos and never really comment, 
I want to hear from you guys, so make sure to leave. I love hearing from you guys, so make sure to comment down below, man. I care what you guys have to say. Um, it makes me feel a lot closer to you guys, and I, I feel like we're building a family here. We're building an awesome subscriber league that you can't get anywhere else on YouTube. This is truly awesome, and we're building characters, and it's amazing. And it's all, it's all because of you guys, so seriously, I appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and um, I hope you continue to have, you know, the rest of your day be blessed. And uh, thank you guys so much for the support, and until next time, have a great day. Peace.